Hi everyone. I got a couple of questions just asking about the test bench that I used for this. So I was actually doing something slightly different with the PS uh, when I when I made that video. And that's why I didn't include a test bench because it was a bit complicated. But now I've put on GitHub the test bench for this and I just want to go over it quickly. Mm, let's zoom in. So what I'm doing, and this is a continuation of my Axie light video, which was my last video. If you're very confused and don't know what I'm talking about, then you should probably watch that first. There's actually two parts. This is the part three. So in that video, I showed an Axie light interface. This is the test bench for that. And so I have clock and reset creation. I'm using a 50 meg clock. And then these are my external Axie signals, which are just the Axie light interface signals. Then I have this transaction initiate where basically it counts up to 10 and then it initiates a transaction. This will actually initiate a transaction every time this counter overflows, which is however many clock cycles two to the 32 is. It's, let me work it out. Where's my calculator? I know it's like in the order of tens of seconds, two to the 32 times 50 meg clock is 20 e minus nine, 85 seconds. So if my calculation is correct, this will initiate a transaction every 85 seconds. So I'm just letting the counter overflow and every time the counter hits 10, then initiates a transaction. And then this is the module that I went over last week. This is the instantiation of it. And then what I have done is originally I was using the VDMA core as a test and I had it in a block diagram. Um, so now what I've done is I've just instantiated the VDMA core on its own in the test bench. So the only reason why I'm using this core is literally just to have the regist interface. I haven't connected up any of the other interfaces. This is literally just so that I have an interface that I can talk to and will talk back. And that's basically it. If you wanted to do something in hardware, I'm actually going to make a video that I'm editing now. I'm editing the video. That is the PS video where I connect an Axie interface to a PS and it's in hardware. And I, that's going to be coming up. And then that video will have how you do this in hardware. So this is just as a simulation test to be able to simulate. So if I look at the hierarchy, it's basically just the test bench and then the Axie light master file and this VDMA IP instance, which is literally just, I think I even left it at the default settings. And I'm just basically using that as a slave, an Axie slave, just so that I have an Axie slave to talk to. And that's pretty much it. Um, so those files are in GitHub and I'll see you next time. Bye.